Uh, welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Morocco. So, guys, we're back here in this awesome Let's Play of Awesomeness where I am building more ships. Because that's just what we do as Morocco. We build tons and tons of ships. Mostly because I don't like the fact that other nations are starting to gain more majority trade power in my region. And because, well, I just like building ships, to be honest with you. So, anyways... We're right now in a very, very awkward position where we cannot declare war right now because of our leader. And so that means it kind of stifles our expansion into owning the rest of Africa. And Fiji just spawned. Okay, that literally was not there like a couple episodes ago. Fiji just like randomly spawned. Um, what the heck? Okay, that's... I, I guess I didn't pay attention to like my... Diplo, Diplo school of learning about nations in Africa, because that was obviously not there. Or if it has been there, I'm sorry, but you guys weren't important enough a nation for me to notice. That's really mean for me to say, but it's the truth. So, anyways, we are just casually, like, building, building, and building. Uh, we're gonna finish up, actually, the bark, the bark, uh, school of deployment, and then we are just going to build more ships. Now that we have a good amount of ships, I feel very confident in our economy. Actually losing a lot because I'm building so many ships. But, you know, it's it's like day one. Well, like, like day one, um, basically we're at day one, um, rebuilding of our empire. If I must, if I must be honest, we're like day one rebuilding of our empire. I think I'll put these two, like, early characters right over here in this spot. So we can get more trade power over here. There's a galley. We could probably just put the galley in the new sh in the new fleet, which we're gonna build and make it awesome. So yeah, and if you guys didn't watch the last episode, you guys should know that we now are actually gaining navy tradition, which is I think really awesome. Which means we could actually like become a major sea power from all the like navy tradition we could possibly get. That also helps right there that we just built up to our maximum supply limit of navies. Um, settling the Cape. Consume, construct a grand fleet. Missing seeds. We have more or equal to 30 heavy ships. What do I get? Two seeds? Nah, not worth it. <laughs> as much as I would say worth it, it's not worth it. So, I think our best, our best idea is to use the, um, colonize the cape. And, oh, oh, before I forget, I completely forgot to mention this. Some of you guys have been mentioning about the idea that maybe now since I will probably be getting the Ottoman Empire into my land, and you know, that's gonna be an awesome day when that comes. I mean, I'm gonna throw like seven bottles of wine and and lots of ivory. I'm I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to think of what we have in our country that we could use as like really cool things. I think actually we don't have any wine in our country. I'm actually gonna have to look at what we have in our country, but what I was gonna say is that with this whole with this whole conquering the Ottomans, we will have a very, very I'm insanely high chance of forming the Byzant not the Byzantine, but reuniting the Islamic faith. And while that really does sound appealing to me, and I really would love to do it, I think I'm going to stick with my original goal of just trying to conquer all of Africa. And then if we still have time, and if you guys are still interested in this, in this let's play, we'll go after. We'll do. We'll go after, and we'll do a, uh, you know, Morocco tries to unite everything campaign. Okay. Okay. So I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to tell the guys that, like, think I don't really pay attention or anything, that yes, I do pay attention, and yes, I am thinking about it. So, there we go. Now we talk about it, we can go into things, and it seems like there's always some colonies starting to pop up everywhere, now that the new system has been implemented. Like, there's a gigantic colony of Florida. Wow! Gigantic colony of Florida. And then we have, like, the newfound colonies. Yeah, you see... The new, I think I like this new patch, it honestly, it gives the Europeans much more, I don't know, depth to them. Now that you can't just like, control your colonies from just one ship. Oh no, Native Americans are trying to revolt against me, whatever shall I do? How about I just send in more men? Okay, that works. <laughs> uh, you know, it's like, it's not rocket science, people, just send in more men. You know, if, if they try to revolt against me, just send in more men. If they try to fight me, just send in more men. Aw, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Did you kill off my people? No, you didn't. You didn't actually get there yet. Well, I'm almost there to the actual cape. I'm slowly colonizing all the way down. 
I do have a free Diplo slot right now, which means I should probably be in increasing relationships with someone. Florence, you seem like the most likely subject, but could I possibly get an alliance with you? Because I do not know. Uh, most likely not, because you guys have a neutral opinion. But, you know, having you guys as, like, a good medium people to kind of just like us. We need to, basically what I'm saying, guys, we need to have, like, one good European nation to like us. If things go bad, we need to have at least one of them on our side so that we can protect ourselves. Good news, Ivory! I have no problem with Ivory, so I'm perfectly fine with that. And it, I'm starting to worry because this whole independence faction is starting to really gain traction with a lot of people. I mean, seriously, we already have, like, a lot of people supporting the independence of the Ottomans, which I'm hoping he, I'm hoping he really does not want to become this, really, I'm really hoping he does not want to become free, like, because that'd be really bad if he wants to become free, but it would also be really bad because I don't have, if at this current moment he wanted to break away and become a free nation, I could not stop him. I mean, the Ottomans by itself, I could not stop them, but with the help of the Persians, the, the Mali, uh, all we just need is the Mamluks. We would basically be facing an all-out powerhouse, which I could not fight against. I'd basically lose pretty quickly. I mean, I'd love to think that I would be better than better than what I say, but I know my skills pretty well about this game, and yeah, it wouldn't be very pretty. Okay, so we're still still building up a massive militaristic navy tech, which we have so much navy. Like, we are all Navy eccentric, and that's mostly because I wanted the Navy. I can't wait to get, because we're all about the Navy, but I can't wait to get this, the Brothers of Barbosa, because then that gives us a 20% attack to all of our... Dang, you guys are just... These guys are just really, really stubborn. Like, they are insanely stubborn, but I can't wait to get this, this attack right here, because as you guys know from last episode, I accidentally mistakenly built a ton of galleys. And, you know, having that many galleys will definitely help um, me make me feel better. Because then it's like, okay, so I planned this all along. And that's what I'll say to you guys. Is I'll plan this, I planned this all along to do all that. So now Longo is a accepted culture. 23 of my guys versus as many men as they have. I think I'll win this. You know, it's, it's honestly a toss-up sometimes if you're going to win or if you're going to lose. But now since I have a gigantic fleet right here, I think that's the last uh, unit being built, right? Yes, that was the last ship. Okay. So now that we got all of our ships built, and there we go. I think we just won that battle. We got 28 ships right here. Where do we have to go send these guys? Do we need to dominate this trade node a little bit more or this trade node a little bit more? Let's actually divide. I think actually the better part of it would be to divide up the trade node and send half of them to the to the um this trade node and then the other half to my home trade node. That way we kind of gain a equal amount of partnership in each. Cause we're honestly trying to displace a lot of these Europeans and 3.2 ducats! Yes! That's good right there. Now we're starting to really gain the majority of the trade node right there. This right here, I don't understand how any of the Europeans are even gaining a share in it, which annoys me. Over here, I can understand why we're, why we might be losing some trade, just because I'm not really paying attention to over there. But over there, that should be my con. Okay, lose a game piety. Honestly, we need it. Actually, now that I'm thinking about, it, we kind of we kind of need to gain piety a little bit. I hate to say that, but we do. Um, naval ideas, diplomatic. Well, we are behind in almost anything we do. So, do I take the idea group now, or do I still go with my original ideas? Dang, I'm really behind. Especially, you know, uh, as much as I would love this, I do believe we are going to have to just tech down diplo tech and all this diplo, diplomatic, and militaristic tech because we have to catch up to the Europeans. Um, I mean, we could probably be behind in administrative administrative tech and a lot of things, but militaristically and diplomatically, we, we must be about the same as Europeans. So let's just, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to invest into that. And we're rapidly upgrading our military. I mean, we just got reformed the Gutenberg, but I think we now are going to be upgrading to a large Castilian or defensive unit. Let's get the small cast and iron. Oh, we have the reformed Gutenbergs. Okay, and this should be going again, right? No, it should not be. So let's try maybe boost ability up one. Yeah, boost ability should help 
mission age strength just by a little bit does that help get started no um the province is tax income being pious ah man this is like non-accepted culture dang this is like gonna, that's gonna be a really insanely hard province to convert but we are trying which is good but let's see so we have I think these four provinces are the ones we're gonna have to really deal with this one is going to be an insanely pain to deal with I think we're gonna have to go like full pious to convert it and yes I am gonna go full pious to convert one province and that's because that those provinces are gonna annoy me for the rest of the game if I don't do it over here we'll build more armories because our recovery speed is almost at a thousand that's about where I want it to be and we are almost done we're almost to the cape we're like right there we can see the cape in our sights once we gain the cape we're gonna gain a really good share of a lot of good like stuff and how close is our king to being a, a good little boy with two more years yes and he's gonna be perfect for like administrative tech lose velocity which means I'll probably yeah militaristically administrative tech will become like equal to everything that would be awesome diplomats have arrived from France so now we've completely improved our relationship with France so now France how much do you like us you like us a good amount so we don't have to improve relationships with you guys for a little bit Russia hmm you know honestly a Russian alliance would be kind of appealing to me because then I'd have a good neighbor in the north I mean, I would, Sweden would also be a good guy, but I think they're just way too intolerant of our religion to do anything, but, you know, a good Russian alliance, that could be good, and, let's see, Sunni, 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 and, wow, Protestantism really took root, wait, wait, what, wait, what, they tell us the Afghanist Shogunate has fallen, what, so now that has utterly defeated the Shogun and will now crown his better, and the new Shogun become an heretic. Wow, so some guy took over the entire island. Wait, wait, did they take over the entire island? Yeah, I guess I guess there's one guy over here in somewhere, one of these little tiny minor vassals in Japan just took over the entire island of of the Shogunate. That's that's pretty cool. Wow. But anyways, like I was saying, um, Russia alliances. This would be. You know, if we could make this happen, we can make this happen, and that'd be pretty nice. They would have, I mean, they would have to start improving relationships with us, but, I mean, who would not want to improve relationship with us? Come on. But, and, anyways, we're going to start building up, actually, a new army. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because we need to start, like, doing stuff. So, one, two, three, four, and then all these small, I hate the small canisters. One, two, three. I mean, like, it takes the long for them to build, that's why I hate them. Four, five, six, and seven. There we go. That entire army up there should be able to build a nice, decent new army death stack. Which is what we like. It's probably going to give us less army, though. That's the only thing. That, oh, less money. That's the only thing that's really going to stink about it. But I think in the long run, it's really good. And it seems like we have a war between Castile and Portugal going on right now. Uh, let's see. Let's see who the sides are. We have Portugal versus Portugal and Aragon versus Castile and Burgundy. Hmm. You see, this could actually Castile could actually be in trouble. Um. It just depends if the Portuguese have enough of an army to actually do anything. Are they sieging anything? No, they aren't. So, I, Portugal, Castile will probably win this. In the end, they will probably win this. They just have a more powerful army, and that's just generally what happens when you have a more powerful army, is you usually win a lot of stuff. And our king has finally come of age! Thank goodness! So, one of the first things I'm going to do is you are in a coalition against me. Is anyone else in a coalition? No. You are going to be my first death. Improve relationships with... Uh, let's get you back because I know the rest the other two I'm diplo annexing. Yeah, actually, let's finish up our diplo annexing and Then we will you know declare war on the Mali to finish up the final war for them Okay, say annoying little people and I think I finally had enough of the Mali for a very long time 
Barbarics, we can get barbarics. Dang, we really technologically advanced. We can also get some temples here, too. Which actually wouldn't be too bad. Let's get, like, a couple temples, not very many. Uh, diplomats have arrived! Huzzah! And let's just wait for... Let's see. Uh, let's see. How long will it take? 1598, October, December. Mm. You know, we could probably finish off these guys in just, like, one big war. I mean, it really... It wouldn't even be a challenge. I have 20... I, they couldn't even fight me even when they had big armies, so... Oh, they don't even move. It's just like, yeah... They were like, yeah, we're gonna move, but nah, let's just accept our fate now. We know we're not gonna win, so... Yeah, we could, we could finish off the Wazoo pretty quickly, so... Let's just do this, and we'll call this, like, the major war of today's episode. Even though I know it's kind of small, but... It's the major war of today's episode. Oh, Okay, and... Dry docks. We could start building some dry docks around everywhere, which give us a lot more repair time and stuff. Might be good for this. And apparently, built our new army starting to be built. Get all the army over here and start making that new gigantic army that I'm building. <laughs> Let's see. Inf uh, money wise, we are 5.6. We can actually raise taxes for a little bit, but I think that's kind of stupid. Integration. We got our first little state integrated. That's good. The siege is now over, which means. Bye bye Molly! So Molly, you guys are dead. So now you guys are gone. And there we go, Morocco has officially expanded to both sectors. And we can instantly start coining this. We now integrated our good friends, the Songhai. They're mostly already our religion, so I'm not even going to like, really deal with it. There's one little culture group that I'm gonna have to exterminate though. It kinda stinks, but the rest of this seems to be really much related to us. It's a good thing I accept Mali as a culture of ours because otherwise I'd be majorly messed up. Uh, yearly inflation, I think I'm gonna get this guy because we're already gaining like a massive amount of administrative tech. So just gaining some like some yearly in deflation would help us with our current inflation which goes up by a good amount. Um, let's see and let's finish up with our final annexation of the these guys. Huh. Yes! There we go. Integration, baby. Pus yes. And now we got two new armies, so I'm gonna combine them. Because I don't know what the stats are, and I'm gonna have to, like, mess around with them. But, sir, I'm embarrassed of the cords. Ah, oh, dang. You just. Dang it, you had such a good run, too. Okay. And my sultan, trading in ivory has happened to us, so now we are the leading producers in ivory, so that means we get diplomatic reputation by a lot. That's kind of cool. By the way, are you one of our vassals? Yes, you are. Can we diplo annex you? Probably not, because I haven't improved relationship. Yeah. I was about to say, it's probably not, because I haven't improved relationship with you guys in a while. So let's actually start improving relationships, and let's start thinking about annexing you too. Because that would be really nice. And now, since we have a complete land route to our African colonies, we have almost expanded all across Africa. We are literally right on the Cape. We are literally right there, and we're getting so close. That's kind of awesome, man. Has our income increased? It has. That is good. So now we have a good amount of army, we have a good amount of tech, we have a good amount of everything. Right now, everything is just coming up ours. Um, this army, okay, so this army, to balance it out, I'm gonna need to get a lot of cannons, and now since we have a lot of free time, it's time to go pay a visit to our good friends, the Mamelukes. Oh, and we just got a colony done, that means we can finally get to the Cape. Hmm, get this right here, this right there, let's go get to the Cape. The final colony we needed. <laughs> well, not really the final colony, but now we are almost completely blocking up the European powers from getting over here. Which is good, because if we own all of Africa and they don't, well, this makes us, makes our life a lot easier. Just saying. Just saying. Dang, this Florida... I'm, I'm really shocked about this Florida colony. If there's one thing I really am, like, perpetually amazed at, is this Florida colony right here. And then Castilian Canada. Those are two things you just don't see every day. And then Brittany. Wow, Brittany actually started a colony. Dang. How big are you, Brittany? Wow, you guys are amazing. I didn't think you guys would actually start one. But dang. Okay, but let's get this little let's get this little colony. Let's see if we can finish this right before I have to end today's episode. Um 
Ooh, it's gonna cut it pretty close. We have like 10 seconds. Let's see if we can actually start the colony. Doesn't look like it. The peasants war in Poland. Oh, I hate that war. That war is terrible. And wow, Poland, you actually look pretty decently sized. And everyone, that was today's end. That was today's ending of an episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is becoming really of a fun series as we slowly, you know, creep our way across all of Africa and then slowly to the Kilwa, where we'll, of course, Diplo annex them too. Well, Diplo, quote unquote, Diplo annex, or we'll just go attack them and destroy them. And as we prepare our armies for our next war against a vastly unsuperior foe who has who has an alliance? The Crimea, Autumn, Oman, and Hendes. These guys will be pushovers. <laughs> uh, just having just having the Ottomans as our allies just instantly makes everyone pushovers. But I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next.